We'll start at the top of our mat in Tadasana today and get grounded. Stand tall, open your heart, roll the shoulders back. Draw your chin in, drop your shoulder blades down your back a little bit. Close your eyes. And connect to the four corners of your feet and feel yourself being rooted into the earth and stable. And hug in those lower legs and inner thighs hugging in, deep belly active. Bring your awareness to your breathing. Just feel your breath flowing in and out through your nostrils. Make sure to connect with your breath throughout your practice. Soften the space between and behind your eyes. And drop your gaze down into your heart center and allow an intention for your practice to come to you. And once you found your intention, gentle blank of the eyes open. And let's get to it. Inhale, reach up to the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Let everything drop here. Let's take a couple breaths here. No, it's enough. And just kind of letting the body spill over here. Maybe a little bit deeper bend to the knees if you're feeling tight. But stay active throughout the legs. Let's take our half fold. Inhale. And we're going to take our plank pose right away today. Sit back. Take your plank. All 10 fingers spread wide. All 10 toes spread wide. Strong bodies here. So press into the mat. Get that hugging of the inner thighs and activation throughout the legs. Maybe a slight pulling of the palms back. Well, micro bend to the elbows for those of you that hyperextend and get connected to your breathing. So when we move through our vinyasa practice, we just flow from one pose to another, hold the pose in between and continue our flow. Make sure you're connecting your breath to the movements, to the flows. And I, I cue breaths, breath cues a lot, but try to find that movement within yourself as you flow through your practice today. And if you find yourself panting, then just take a break. Take a down dog or a child's pose, just as we do here, right? If you need to take little breaks in your, um, your plank pose, because we're here for two minutes, as you know. So, yeah, find that fluidity in your movement and with your breathing. So we want to make sure we don't stunt the breath at the top of the inhale and at the bottom of the exhale as we flow into the inhale. And find balance, balance with your breathing, balance with your movements. Where are we? Make sure your thighs are active, your glutes are active, core is active. If you need to, you're coming to your forearms or you're taking fists, right? If your wrists don't like this, a little wedge under the heel of the palm, just a couple more breaths. And we're done with this plank pose. One more deep breath. Downward facing. Press it back. Let the head get heavy here. Take a deep bend to your knees and then push into the mat. Get super long in that spine and then slowly start to straighten the legs. Some of you will keep bent knees. Know your body. If you're rounding, if you're really tight, you're keeping a little bend to your knees or even a deeper one. More and more breath here. Let's step our float to the top of the mat. Inhale, half fold, heart open. Exhale, full fold, we drop. Inhale, ground and rise to the sky. Exhale, mountain pose, samastiti. Inhale, rise, reach. 
Exhale, lead with your heart, hinge at the hips, a little bend to the knees, fold forward. Inhale, heart lifts, open up. Exhale, plank to chaturanga. Keep that lift in your center, open your heart on the way down. Inhale, open your heart on the way up. Upward facing, or cobra pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath here. Right foot steps to the top of the mat, left knee drops. Inhale, the lunge. Rise up. Lift your heart. Breathe. We're going to take reverse prayer hands. So either flipping the palms or fist to fist. Lift up, drop back. Maybe that left hip comes forward a little bit. Keep your front ribs from poofing open. Float the arms up. Inhale, we flow. Exhale. Chaturanga. You can take a one legged chaturanga if you're feeling that. Inhale, open into your back bend. Exhale, downward facing. Deep breath. Left foot to the top of the mat. So our down dog, inhale. The lunge is a little reset in between each pose. Let's take the reverse prayer. Check your core. Lift up. Maybe that right hip draws forward a little bit. And we open up. Keep your center active. Open your heart and draw those elbows back. Breath is steady. Inhale, flip the arms up. And we flow. Step back. Strong center. Chaturanga. Inhale, float into your back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath. Step or foot to the top of the mat. Inhale, half fold. Exhale, full fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, mountain pose. Inhale. Gaze goes up. Exhale. Let everything drop in your fold. Inhale, half fold. And switch legs, left foot, right foot. Chaturanga. Inhale, open your heart. Exhale, downward facing. Deep breath. Always let the head just kind of get heavy here. Right foot to the top of the mat. We stay on the ball mounds of the back foot. Inhale, rise, crescent pose. Find your space here. We're going to cactus the arms out, grounding through that front foot and back foot, lifting the heart, drawing up and back. Make sure that left hip is facing forward so you're on the ball mounds across that left foot. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, take a vinyasa. Shoot it back, chaturanga. Inhale, open your heart. Exhale, downward facing. Deep breath. Left foot floats to the top of the mat. Stay on the ball mounds of that right foot. Inhale, crescent pose, rise up. Open your heart, cactus the arms. Find your pose. Get grounded through the feet, steady through the legs, strong in your center. Open your heart. All while breathing. One more breath here. Float the arms up with control, step back, and take your vinyasa. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, downward face. Deep breath. Step or float to the top of the mat, left foot, right foot. If you're stepping, inhale, half fold. Exhale, full fold. Ground and rise to the sky. Exhale, mountain pose. Inhale, rise. 
called for. Inhale, half fold. Exhale, vinyasa. Meet you in down dog. Open your heart. Exhale. Up and back. Downward facing. Deep breath. Hug those elbows back. Right foot to the top of the mat. Heel toe your foot to the right. Lizard pose. So, hanging out in your palms here. If you have a block, you can come to your block on your forearms, or you can come all the way down to your forearms if you have that space. Hug your right hip back, open your heart. Squeeze that inner thigh in. Make sure your head's not collapsing. Breath is steady. Place yourself back on your palms, heel to your foot back to neutral position, and take a flow. Chatter on the Inhale, open that heart. Exhale, downward facing. Take a breath. Left foot floats to the top of the mat, and we heel toe it to the left. Come onto your forearms, or block, or stay on your palms, and breathe. Scoop that left hip back, push into the mat, Keep your gaze lifted. Keep your center strong. Let's plant our palms back up, step it into neutral, and we flow strong center. Inhale, open your heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath here. And step or float. Right foot, left foot, inhale, half fold. Exhale, full fold. Ground and rise, breathe in. Reach, lift. Get long in your side bodies when you do that. Back into Samasthiti, inhale, rise. And exhale, fold. Inhale, lift your heart. And we exhale, left foot, right foot, or, or a float back if you have that in your practice. Just be mindful of not dumping in the shoulders if you're doing that. Having the support to be able to, downward facing. Take a deep breath. So get connected to your center, get connected to your left side. Left arm straight, left leg active. Right leg's gonna float up. Spread your toes. We're in a squared off three-legged dog here. Make sure your pelvis and, I mean, your hips, are, your ribs, oh Lord have mercy. Your ribs are not collapsing forward. Hug them in, push your hips back, and we're gonna just pulse that right leg. So just little pulses with the hips squared. So we're not turning open here and just find your glute on that right leg. Feel the hamstrings, spread the toes up there, and just little pulses, push up. Check that your center is active. Squeeze your left hip into your body. So this leg, squeeze it into the body. Press it up, 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 up. Three, two, one, we float. Come forward into plank pose. Take your chaturanga. Inhale, open your heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath here. Ground through the right side of your body. Get stable in your core, float the left leg up. And we just are pulsing without that hip turning open. Getting into the back of the leg, the glute, the hamstrings, push into the mat so you're long here. Keep scooping those front ribs in, deep bellies active, press up. Breathe, keep scooping your right hip into your body if you're swinging. Good, pulse, 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 pulse. We flow, come forward into plank pose. Strong center, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, open into your back bend. Exhale, downward facing. 
Take a deep breath. Inhale forward into plank. Let's bring ourselves down to our bellies, chaturanga. Reach the right arm up in front of you. This is where a strap may come in handy. Bend your left knee, reach back. Art is on your asana, half bow pose. Lift up and maybe that back leg comes off of the mat. Get into the back of the left leg. Ground through that right foot. Lift your heart and breathe. Push down into the back of the, the back foot, the right foot. Lift the kneecap there. Keep your center strong. Pubic bone is grounded. We release. Take our hands back down to the mat and press up. Downward facing. Come forward into plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga. Uh, come all the way down to your belly. And left arm up overhead. Rock that left thigh underneath you. Reach for your right foot. Press your foot into your hand. Lift your heart up. Get grounded through that back leg. Breathe. Check your core center support right now as you open into the back bend. You want to be stable when we open our hearts. Stable and supported. One more breath. And vinyasa. Press up, back into downward facing, back forward into plank pose, back down to your belly. Rest your forehead, bend both knees, hug those thighs in, push the feet into the hands and lift up. So get grounded, get stable. And if you have the space, lift those legs, hug the thighs in, be mindful of your low back. Find your mid and upper back. Press the pelvis down a little bit. Squeeze those legs up to the sky and breathe. Release. Take your hands back down. Push yourself back up. Downward facing. Take a bend to the knees. Push your hips super far back to the back of the mat. So nice and long in the spine. And then slowly straighten your legs. Feel all that energy that you just moved. We'll take a step or foot to the top of the mat. Inhale, half fold. Exhale, full fold. Inhale, arms out and up, rise to the sky. Exhale, prayer hands, close your eyes, thumbs to the sternum. And breathe. Connect to that heart energy. Connect to the prana that's moving through you, through life force. Vital energy moving through your body. Reconnect with your feet, with your body. And blink the eyes open, release the hands, make your way back down to your mat. Let's come uh, to seated. Hands out in front. You might need to sit on a support here. Right ink, uh, knee. Right knee over the left knee, left heel towards the right hip, and even at your seat. Bottom leg can stay straight here. If you have a little more space, you shimmy those shins forward. Sit up nice and tall. So we've got the right leg on top, left arm, the left hand touches the left shoulder, and either you find your fingertips behind your back, you can use a strap here, or take a hold of your elbow and draw that arm back. Lift yourself tall, and we start. To come forward. So as you come forward, if your head is leading the way, then you need to inch back a little bit. Think about your heart leading the way on this one. Elbow, kind of hug in the triceps, draw in a little bit and back. Keep your right hip grounded. We're going to release the hands and just take a fold over the legs. Let the head drop and get heavy. And take a few deep breaths into your hips, into your low back space. Feel yourself coming down. You can start to deepen your breath, lengthen the exhalation. Feel yourself decompressing, releasing. You've done all of that work and activation. So now let the space open even more.
Soften your hips. Keep checking that the right hip isn't bumping up. Ground it down and even a little back. Let's slowly start to walk it up. Sit up nice and tall here. We're gonna to twist to the right. Ground that opposite hip so the left hip doesn't move. Rise up, use that back hand to lift you. And see if you can spin your right ribs back from your center and not with your hands pulling you, right? So squeeze the right ribs back. Then you can press into that thigh and then you can kind of use that right hand for a little bit more of that support. Right shoulder draws back. And let's bring it back to center. Release, do the other side. Left knee on top of the right knee. Maybe that heel draws under you. Even yourself out, so get that sitting bone out from underneath you. And if you have a little more space, those shins can come forward, right hand to the shoulder, find your fingertips behind your back and lift up, or take your elbow. I just prefer to do it this way because I can get more of an opening, even though I can find my bind behind me. So draw the elbow back, hug the triceps in, and try to pull it behind you as you come forward. And of course, if you're needing that shoulder, if you're feeling that need on the opposite shoulder, take the head behind you. So bring yourself forward. Keep the left hip grounded. And let's take our fold over the legs. Again, don't let that left hip bump up. And we take that longer exhalation. So just really surrendering into the pose. Soften your facial muscles, soften the hips and the groins. Make sure the shoulders are heavy. With every exhalation, just feel yourself melting even more into your mat. Are you resisting in your hips? Soften them. Slowly start to rise up, sit tall, keep the right hip grounded, start to spin to the left, lift up, spin those left ribs back, and then maybe a little help with pressing into the thigh there, bringing that shoulder back a little bit more. Keep grounding that right hip as you twist. And come back to center. Release. Let's make our way onto our backs into Shavasana. Nice work. So use your props if you need to. Under the knees, the head. Even out your back body. Give yourself space. Close your eyes. Let go of any controlled breath. Take a moment to recognize. The rhythm of your breath when, at, when you're not actually engaging with it. Let's bring your awareness to the tips of the toes. And we're going to move the awareness over the body, recognizing whatever arises as you move your awareness there, and just move into the next space as you're guided. Be aware of your toes. Move your awareness over your feet. And 
the ankles. The lower legs. The knees. The upper legs. The hips. The pelvis and the pelvic floor. Be aware of the rise and fall of your belly as you breathe. Bring your awareness to your fingertips. Your fingers and your hands. The wrists. The lower arms. The elbows. The upper arms. The shoulders. The heart center. Be aware of the throat and the neck. The breath flowing in and out through the nostrils. The space between and behind the eyes. Rest your gaze here. Let yourself go. Bring your awareness back to your breath, flowing in and out through your nostrils. Slowly reawaken your body, wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Take a deep stretch, arms up over the head. Full body stretch here. Draw your knees into your chest and rock back and forth. Make your way to your side into fetus position, keeping your eyes closed. And press up to seated. Sit up nice and tall. Let's take our palms to prayer. Seal all of the work you just did in between your hands. Thumbs into the heart center. Draw the chin in. And bow the head forward and bow down to your ability to move your body, to experience movement. We take so much for granted. Honor your body, honor this vessel that moves you through life, 
that gives you the ability to experience life. Remember to be kind to it. Bow down to your heart and your light. Remember, you always had access to that space. Honor the heart chakra within all beings. And from deep within your heart, let's send a collective prayer of peace to the world. May all beings experience peace. And I take a moment to express gratitude for three things in your life. Inhale that back to center. Have a blissful remainder of your day. Thank you for practicing with me. Namaste. Let's see what the angels have to say today. Number one, trust. Number two, grace. And number three, efficiency. Go use that energy. I'll see you back for more tomorrow. Bye.